Alright, so thank you very much for the pre-screening. I always like to give a little thank you whenever I get invited into one of these. And so just so you know where I'm coming from, I am not a die-hard, hardcore D&D player. I am mildly familiar with it, and I do have friends who play it and family members who play it, but I'm not super deep into the lore. That's just so you know where I'm coming from. And I still loved it. The filmmakers were smart because they put a lot of Easter eggs and references for those who are familiar with D&D, so they get their little fan service. But the film was also accessible enough for anybody to enjoy it, whether or not they played the game. And it works perfectly fine on its own, just as a fantasy movie. The characters are all very likable, they're all very fun to watch, they interact with each other very well, they have a really good dynamic. And I'd say this is like a fantasy version of Guardians of the Galaxy. It's got kind of a similar plot. It's this group of outlaws teaming up to get redemption and to get back things that have been taken from them. Because Chris Pine's character, he's sort of the swamp swashbuckling quick-witted leader. He's kind of like Star-Lord. Uh, there's this one uh, character who's this tough warrior woman, very similar to Gamora. And there's this one character who is this sort of sarcastic animal character, very much like Rock Raccoon. She always makes like the sarcastic remarks and rebuttals everybody. And despite it being tied to Dungeons & Dragons, it has a fresh story. Like, even if it didn't have a Dungeons & Dragons name attached to it, I get why they did that, because that's a recognizable name to some degree. But it still works perfectly fine on its own as just this fantastic fantasy movie. Because it has the perfect amount of seriousness, as well as cheese. This is sort of like if you threw Princess Bride, Willow, the movie, not that garbage TV show they did, the actual good Willow, and just a hint of my Monty Python, you threw those all in the blender, you mixed up, this is what you get. It's serious and it's dramatic enough when it needs to be, and it's lighthearted and fun enough to keep you entertained. The script is quick-witted, it's sharp, the action's invigorated and accelerating, the CGI and effects are really, really good, and this is a movie that anyone can enjoy. To me, it rolls a perfect 20. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves me gets an A+, and just this once I'm going higher than a 10 because it's Dungeons and Dragons, I gotta give it a 20. It gets a 20 out of 20 and a 5 out of 5 stars. This movie is for everybody. Everybody can enjoy it, especially if you're a fantasy fan. It's a must-see. Go see it as soon as it comes out on March 30th.